my name is Charlotte um welcome to my youtube channel um thank you so much for clicking on this video so today what I thought I would do is just share some of my gym girl essentials obviously we're not in January anymore but there is no time that's the best time to get into the gym you can obviously start training at any time um and it can be a really overwhelming thing figuring out what is actually going to be something that you really really need and what is something that maybe someone is trying to sell to you just for the sake of it so let's get started one of the first things that i think is a super important thing to make sure that you get is a protein powder that you genuinely enjoy so we all know how important or maybe you don't know but but having a high protein diet is really really important especially when you are resistance training it is like one of the main things that you want to be doing it's really going to help with your muscles recovering um and obviously so many other factors dependent on your goals especially if you want to build muscle if you want to build your glutes you are going to need to be eating a high protein diet and obviously we can do that from eating um chicken and yogurt and all of these different things but protein powder definitely makes it a lot easier um so i would recommend just making sure you have some um so there's a couple of different kinds that you can get obviously if you are having dairy you can get whey protein which is fantastic um and you can get this kind which is going to be something that blends into more of a milky drink or you can get something called clear protein um which is going to blend something more like juice or squash or I always forget what the other word is cordial um because i know it's called different things all over the place um but yeah i really really make sure that you have some it's going to make it way easier you can obviously also get vegan um, protein sources if you have issues with dairy or if you are obviously vegan um and there's a few other ones that you can get as well i normally have the perform way um and then in, for my clear way that is one i have i honestly don't know the name of the brand of it and it's not super high in protein so i don't know how much i would recommend it um but it tastes good but yeah the perform is really really good um you can also like cook with this stuff um if you are making oats and you're using a whey i would recommend cooking your oats first and then once they have been microwaved adding the whey as it can go a bit funny if you're making vegan oats i would do it the other way around so i would cook the protein in and if you do think that you can see yourself cooking more with protein rather than drinking it then again i would recommend more of a vegan protein it just mixes a lot nicer and it works a lot nicer but in terms of drinking this is a really good one they've got some really good flavors carrot cake i'm not gonna lie don't really recommend for drinking but it works really nicely in all kind of oat recipes especially overnight oats the next thing that i would recommend having is a water bottle might sound a bit basic a bit silly but we water, drinking water is so important regardless of your goals regardless of what you want drinking water is such an important thing um and typically we want to be drinking around two to three liters of water a day the easiest way to do that is going to be getting yourself a water bottle that you can carry around that makes it easy to drink from because like if you're not you how do you know that you're drinking that much water do you know what i mean like if you're relying on just like filling up a glass here and there like do you know that you're actually getting that much water so having a bottle that you use every day is going to really help be helpful um the bottle i have i got from tk max um i don't even know what its brand is it just says protect our planet on it um oh it is a decor bottle um it is a liter and it's a stainless steel one with a straw these are really really good um obviously the fact it's stainless steel it keeps it um cool all day um and then i find bottles with a straw make it so much easier to drink i am a messy person when i try and drink water through anything else i do in fact spill it all over myself so having a straw is really really helpful i think it's so much easier and like you can just drink more water with a straw so i would really really recommend getting one of these obviously stanley cups are really trendy at the moment if you live somewhere where they are accessible go for it girl um but obviously for the majority of us like any of my uk based girls that are watching this we cannot get those stanley cups so something like this is really good but places like tk max always have them so i would really really recommend having a look in there and they are normally pretty affordable as well and it's going to make hitting that water goal so much easier my next gym essential i am already wearing so let me just quickly take it off um but it is some kind of activity tracker so i have the fitbit lux at the moment i will i'll do the the typical youtuber thing um like that um and yeah i would really recommend getting one of these because one thing that i find is obviously we know that we need to be keeping track of our steps 
and it's something really really important and steps can really like have a big effect on your expenditure it's something i spoke about in my things i wish i knew before i started the gym video um but keeping an eye on those steps can make a really big difference but when you're keeping track of your steps on your phone you're not getting a massively accurate gauge of how many steps you're actually doing which can cause problems because it can mean that you want to then increase your steps but actually because of how inaccurate phones can be um it really doesn't give you a good idea of how much you're actually moving for example i have had clients where they've been tracking on their phones and it says they're doing around 4,000 steps a day then they get a fitness tracker of some kind and it suddenly goes up to 10,000 steps per day now the majority of the time they've not changed anything it has just been a really simple case that their watch is not accurate enough for them so it's not giving a really accurate representation of like what is going on if they are actually doing that many steps or if they're not doing that many steps so it's really really important to have something that can track them and you can pick fitness trackers up for really cheap you do not need to go for like a brand of one like a fitbit apple watch any of those you can get them for like 20 pound on amazon um, and they will make such a difference Another thing that I find amazing about fitness trackers is that they really allow you to track your sleep. A lot of the time when we think about sleep, we think about the time that we're in bed for, but actually we don't want to be doing that because sometimes we're like, oh, I went to bed at 11, I woke up at six, so that should be seven hours sleep. No, it's not because that doesn't account for the time it takes you to get to sleep and all of the time it's gonna, you're going to be waking up in the night. Whereas a fitness tracker, obviously it tracks your sleep, it pays attention to that, so it knows like, you've woken up in the night quite a bit this time or oh you've actually slept really well you slept completely through the night like they let you keep an eye on that it gives you a much much better gauge honestly i thought i was getting seven and a half hours sleep before i started tracking my sleep and then i started tracking my sleep and i was like oh my god i'm literally like struggling to get seven hours sleep so really 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 worth the investment sleep is so important in so many different ways it is really going to have a big effect on whether you can build muscle and how much muscle you can build it's going to have a massive effect on fat loss there are so many studies that show that those that aren't getting an adequate amount of sleep do not lose as much weight so it's a really really important thing to make sure that you are focusing on and having a tool that can really really help with that is going to be absolutely amazing so on the topic of sleep my next gym girl essential is some kind of sunrise alarm clock so this is a lumi one um it is just called like the lumi sunrise alarm clock um and obviously it's not plugged in but here it normally tells you the time and what it does is it wakes you up with a sunrise so rather than having that really jolting awake and then you're in a wet you're awake in a dark room and you just fall back to sleep it slowly gets your room brighter and then it wakes you up with something that's like i have bird sound so you're awoken to like a really really peaceful sound um and yeah it makes waking up so much easier and it also has a sunset method so your room gradually gets darker i'm not going to go into crazy detail in this video because it's not the time or place but our body massively relies on something called a circadian rhythm this is typically something that is in sync with sunrise and sunset but obviously in the winter it gets massively massively thrown because sunrise is so much later and sunset is so much earlier like it's not times that we could just wake up and go to sleep at those times so having something like this really really has helped my body clock and um just feel a lot more natural and i naturally wake up earlier it's a lot easier to wake up earlier once i do wake up it's easier to stay awake because my room is bright and light so i would really really recommend getting one of these it obviously means as well that you're not using your phone as your alarm so you're not waking up and going straight on your phone and then seeing notifications like so and so followed you on tiktok um your instagram dms your friends messages like and then going straight on your phone and not getting up to, off to like a good and productive start to the day ideally for so many like mental health factors like we don't want to be going on our phone straight away um when we wake up it is not the best thing for you as i'm sure all of you have heard so many times before um so yeah this is such a game changer for that so i would really re really recommend and you can pick them up pretty cheap on amazon as well which is obviously a super big help okay so moving into more of the actual gym stuff for our gym girl essentials we have a barbell pad if you are hip thrusting you need one of these bad boys in your life 
this is from amazon it was like 11 pound um it is super sturdy and it's gonna mean that it like my hips don't get destroyed when i am hip thrusting which is such a big thing obviously the more comfortable you feel in terms of like barbell placement um the feeling of the bar on your hips and everything like that the more you are going to be able to lift the more you're going to be able to push yourself the more comfortable you're going to feel doing the exercise and in turn you'll become more successful you might get more pps as a result of that your get your glutes are going to grow <laughs> like if you want to grow your glutes you need to be, get comfortable lifting heavy one of these is going to make it so much easier to lift heavy now this is not for squatting we do not use these for squatting we do not use these for lunges the only exercise we are using these for is a barbell hip thrust if you do not have a back extension pad and you're going to use a smith machine or a barbell we want to use it for that um or if you are doing bulgarian split squats where you have the barbell and that is where your foot and ankle is going on and you're holding dumbbells we would want to use it for that as well to help with that kind of rotation but we do not use this as a neck pad it is not a neck pad it is a hip pad that is how we're going to think of it um so for our mainly for the majority of people you only need to use this for your hip thrusts but yeah it is an absolute game changer i literally cannot imagine hip thrusting without one of these the idea makes me feel physically sick and if you are still hip thrusting without one of these pop yourself on amazon ladies my other kind of more gym based gym girl essentials headphones now it doesn't need to be an over the head pair it doesn't need to be beats but i would really recommend i'm gonna take these off <laughs> i would really recommend having a pair that aren't just like your airpods that you maybe like just bring with you everywhere that you can keep in your gym bag at all times i would even maybe like if you have airpods and you take them everywhere i would still recommend having a pair that live in your gym bag because we all know the pain of when you get to the gym and you're airpods are out of charge and you're like oh my god i am not gonna be able to listen to music today um the other thing with the overhead ones that i've you know i'm really liking at the moment is it means that you get you can get very focused like you can put them on and you're like oh in my own world like living your best life um and then the thing that i'm really liking about the beats at the moment is the charge is insane um i train four times a week so i use my beats four times a week um sometimes more like i like using them for editing videos and stuff as well um and they are still on 90 percent charge and i think i charged them at the beginning of january it is the 2nd of february today so pretty pretty good battery life and that just makes such a difference because I know that they're gonna last a really long time which just makes it so much easier it means i don't have to worry about like charging them every day like with airpods you have to charge them really frequently so it can become really annoying so yeah i would definitely recommend getting some headphones that have a pretty good battery life that you can just keep in your bag and then not really have to worry about like if they've run out of charge or not the next essential is wrist straps um so i like to use a figure of eight straps and they basically gonna try and figure out a way to show you they go around your wrist like this and then you would loop the dumbbell round or the barbell like that so the weight is gonna sit in this bit and you're holding it like that um if you are struggling with your grip strength you need these look at the size of your hands and then look at the size of your legs especially for rdls your back um obviously your grip is not going to be as strong as those muscles like and it's not something that we need to work on it's something we so not something we massively need to progress to like it's okay that it's not as strong obviously if you're a power lifter you're gonna have to work on that but for the majority of us that are just going to the gym to feel good and look good we do not need to worry about um like improving our grip strength so these are going to be super super helpful i personally prefer figure of eight because i find that they do take some of the load out of your hands when you are struggling you can kind of shimmy it so that you're just holding your the bar in like a hook way and that these are taking most of it so that like if you because my i don't have very good grip strength i'll be the first to admit i have quite small hands and they make it and especially with my nails really really grown out um it makes it really hard to get a hold of the bar so these make a really big difference i mean that i can genuinely train till failure without these i would be training till the failure of my grip not the failure of my muscles and if you aren't training those muscles close to failure you are not going to progress you are not going to gain muscle it's a really important thing that we may need to make sure we're doing 
and these are going to make it a hell of a lot easier so do yourself a favor pop yourself on amazon mine are from my protein actually um they were like eight pound and yeah definitely get yourself some lifting straps of some kind my final gym girl essential is active wear and you might be like well yeah obviously i need active wear to go to the gym like that's pretty fucking obvious okay so i mean active wear that makes you genuinely feel like the absolute fucking hottest version of yourself the best person that you could be it makes you feel like oh my god i am so so hot i'm the best person that's ever walked the face of this planet okay maybe you might, might not be that confident but we want that kind of vibe that's the energy that we want in the gym and good active wear is how you're going to get it so obviously it's going to be different from person to person i love a scrunch bun scrunch buns make me feel like a 10 out of 10. my favorites are the athletes um the athlete amplifies this color i love it it's called pea blue um and it is like my absolute one of my ride or dies um shorts i also love the honor if you are ordering from honor please size up um considerably um their sizing in my opinion is awful um and something that we really need to work on um because yeah like yeah i probably need to size up to a large um and i am a size like 10 to 12 so that gives you a good right idea of like what their sizing is like in my opinion um but they are really flattering they have a really nice scrunch bum the detailing on them is really nice this is the effortless um i haven't tried anything other than the effortless but they do make me feel really good um and then I also have the newest Gymshark Times Whitney. If you have seen my review on it, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, there is a review of these on my channel already. Um, so these have a more subtle scrunch bum, which is quite nice. So just go for something a little bit more kind of less in your face. Um, but again, a really, really nice. And as you can tell, I really like these kind of colours. And that is another thing with your active wear. Sometimes we just think about the design. Think about what colours make you feel really good. Some people, and like I know when I first started the gym, I would only wear like black. It was all I felt comfortable in. And that is awesome. If that is how you feel comfortable, you do you boo. You wear what makes you feel your absolute best. Um, if you like more bright colours, go for it. Have a play around, see what colours in your normal wardrobe you feel really good in and translate that into your gym wear because that is going to be the best thing. And then obviously sports bras, we want something that is going to feel good. Um, I personally really like these more like cottony ones. I don't particularly like high performance like material. It's not really my favourite. I much prefer more like these cotton, especially for lifting. I don't currently do cardio. It might change when I'm doing more cardio. Um, but for the time being, I really like bras like this. So this one is from Alphalete. Um, it's got a really nice design on the back. And then I also have a really nice one on, getting my tits out, um, <laughs> from Lululemon, which again, I really, really like. It's got really nice detailing on the back, which is kind of one of my favorite things about bras. Um, so finding something that makes you feel comfortable. And then obviously we've got our big jumpers. You can train in joggers. You can train whatever's gonna make you feel your best. And that is just the most important thing. But yeah, that is pretty much it for my gym girl essentials. Um, please let me know what your essentials are down below, what things you cannot live without as a gym girl. I would love to hear. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. It means the world to me and it really, really helps me out. Um, and if you like my content and want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel.